Hi guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tammy. You can press the like button if you like this video. You can subscribe to see more. Um, you can comment to let me know if there's something more that you might want to see. Um, I am running around my house cleaning up for trying to get ready for some other video type things and thought well I need to make bath salt I'm out and I would make a video for you and show you how you can make a lot of bath salt relatively cheaply and it's going to be amazing smells great so I have a giant roast pan it's got rust I don't like to use it because it'll stick the nonstick is gone um, but it works pretty good for me putting this bath salt together. I have a wooden spoon that I have written on bath salts just in case. I don't want to cook with this one. So I've written it on there with, um, you know, a Sharpie. I'm sure there's one up there somewhere. Um, but I wrote it on there with a Sharpie. It says bath salts just to keep it separate from anything I'm doing. I've gone to Walmart and got this eight pound bag of Epsom salt. This costs five dollars. Five dollars even. That's it. Five dollars. Um, that's a lot of Epsom salt. Uh, baking soda. Let's see. Hill Country. I got this probably at HEB. Uh, that's a Texas grocery store. Uh, Walmart has Arm & Hammer. Whatever you need. This this costs like a dollar ninety eight. For a four pound box, I think it's like about a dollar ninety six, dollar ninety eight for Arm and Hammer at um, Walmart. Um, or you can get the small boxes, it, it doesn't matter. This is not going to be anything where you need a measuring cup. You don't need a recipe, you don't need to write things down, you don't need a measuring cup. Um, so, this is a big old box of baking soda. You can get whatever size box of baking soda you want. Um, what's all in style right now is the Himalayan bath salts, uh, Himalayan pink salt in your bath salts, and everybody's really into that, so I was trying to look to find some nice, you know, Himalayan pink salt, and happened to be in Burlington, and got oh, this giant 10-pound <laughs> jug of pink Himalayan bath salt, so, huh. Uh, I'll be making bath salts for however long. I mean, that's a lot. Um, I use a sifter. Makes my life easier with the baking soda. You don't have to. It, it doesn't matter. Um, now you need, or you could get, whatever essential oils make you happy. Um, bath salts to me, okay, frankincense. This is, uh, it came out of a different bottle. I put it in this one. Uh, Frankincense, I, I just think this should be in every household on the planet. Uh, frankincense is magic. I put that in almost everything that I do. So, you don't have to have that. You don't, I mean, you know, but that's, I use frankincense in everything. Uh, bath salts make you happy. Lavender, everybody, everybody, well, everybody doesn't like lavender, but a lot of people like lavender. Uh, if you want chamomile or... I don't know. I've grabbed a bottle with some vanilla. Um, I don't usually do that, but v lavender vanilla. Mm, I was feeling it today. So, um, we're going to put this together. Now, and of course, I did not go grab the scissors. I meant to grab the scissors. I did not. Um, hey, there is a knife right here. A little knife. We're going to cut the Epsom salt with them. Scissors, knife, as long as we get it open. Now, dump it in there. Dump it in there. If you don't have a big enough pan, put less. If you have a big enough pan, put more. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. This is super, super, super easy. Now, there you go. Giant pan full of Epsom salt. That's it. Yeah, that's all it is. It's a giant pan full of Epsom salt. Now, Let's see, how are we going to get into this baking soda? Uh-oh. This could be dangerous. Please do this uh, away from you. Not towards. 
Okay, open that up. And we have our little sifter and you pour. Y you can put the whole box, half and half. Four pounds, well, ha well, it's not quite half and half, but four pounds of baking soda, eight pounds of Epsom salt. This again makes no, I mean, dump, it doesn't matter. The Epsom salt helps soothe muscles. Um, if you have tired muscles, sore muscles, Epsom salt is great. Um, the baking soda makes things very smooth. Um, it's going to help with that. Uh, the I honestly have no idea what pink salt does, um, so I can't tell you. You have to Google that yourself. And I just put some in. Now, if you don't use the salt, there's a little trick that you may need to know. Um, the oils will sometimes make this clump together and get a little hard. Um, if you will put your oils in the Epsom salt, I, that's what my spoon is for. I take it and I let it sit and dry and mix it and then let it dry and mix it, let it dry. Sometimes it takes me a day to make, you know. But since I've started putting this pink salt in my bath salts, they don't stick together. So that's why I don't really have to, I don't really have to do that right now because I have the pink salts. But if you don't, that is fine. It just, but it just, the, the oil, it, it just seems to clump. Now, it'll unclump again. When you put it in the water, it makes no difference. When you put it in your bath, it all comes apart. Everything is fine. Um... But this is just mixed up. It's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> and then again, every you know, every recipe will tell you four drops of this, three drops of that, six drops of this. I don't I, I just just put whatever you want in it. However much you have, whatever you want to put in it. Um, like I said, frankincense, I I put that plenty always forever and always. Um, this is lavender. Don't really think you could put too much lavender in most things either. Uh, funny story. Essential oils. Lavender used to be one of my least favorite scents in anything at the store. Hated lavender. Uh, I guess because it's a synthetic scent maybe. Uh, Got essential oils, got into that a little. My sister actually got into it first, uh, and I thought she was crazy. Um, I started kind of getting them. It was like, oh, I got a headache, and you, oh, hey, this could help with that. And you just kind of start here and there, and you're like, uh oh, now I love them. But, and now I have decided lavender is one of my favorite things ever. <laughs> But it did take essential oils for me to even like it. Um, and then see, now it's going to have little spots, little drops, little spots. Uh, you can't see that, but yeah, maybe you can. It's like little clumps. It's almost like cleaning out your litter box. Uh, but there, it's gonna, it needs to be kind of broke up and mixed. So I just kind of, and you can use your spoon. You can do any of this pretty much any way you like. But I like to kind of break the little clumps from the oil, get it all mixed up, break the clumps up. And this will dissolve really easy in your bath. Um, you can put a little, you can put a lot. Oh, that vanilla smells so good. I'm so glad I thought to do that today. Ooh. And this is about how I make it every time. I usually use an 8 pound bag of the Epsom salt. Target sells it. There's other brands. This was, you know, this was Equate. It was a Walmart brand. Uh, it's just what I grabbed the last time I was at the store. Uh, it, uh, it's super simple to make. It makes a whole lot of bath salt. So, and then, you know, I didn't use, eh, I used half. I used two pounds of baking soda. Sometimes I use less, sometimes I use more. And then sometimes I just dump the whole, but I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, and there you have it. 
It's all mixed up. It's all pretty. It shouldn't stick together. I don't know what it is. Um, well, I guess, you know, salt helps with moisture. So, I mean, that's just what that is. So, I guess that's what makes it not stick together as much. Um, so, I was, like, on the hunt for some sort of airtight container to keep it all in because it was, you know, clumping together a little bit. But the addition of the pink Himalayan salt, it has not done it sense so and this smells oh my goodness this well the vanilla oh my goodness but I think I need more lavender here see you just whatever and you can also not add the essential oils to it at all um, you can just mix the Epsom salt the baking soda the Himalayan pink salt and when you go to take your bath add your essential oils to the bath water um, so you don't even have to, I just, you know, the least amount of steps, the happier, you know, so I wanted it all mixed up or I don't have to fight with it. Um, and then, yeah, I just get it till it smells right for me. It, it may not be great for anybody else. It may be wonderful for everybody else, you know, who knows. Um, let's see, get the clumps out of it again, mix it up. I was smelling so much mostly vanilla, so I added a little bit more lavender little bit more frankincense lavender and frankincense uh, are not going to hurt your skin if you have eczema if you have psoriasis if you have um easily you know you get allergies easy and you end up with you know rashes and conditions and things on your skin lavender and frankincense should not hinder that that just should not aggravate that it shouldn't burn um some essential oils need to be diluted you need to be i mean it's diluted here too but i mean you need to be more careful with it you wouldn't want it on your skin this if you put it in a bath you're gonna be sitting in this so this should be all right and then the vanilla isn't gonna hurt anything i mean but i have you know chamomile i have you know tea tree oil if you happen to have been out tea tree oil if you've been out fishing or if you've been out in the woods or you've been out playing or you've been doing whatever and you may have any kind of you know insects ticks anything that could have got on you chiggers for those I mean red bugs I guess for those who don't call them chiggers uh, if you uh, you know just uh, put a little tea tree oil in your bath that'll help Bugs don't like that at all. Bugs don't like peppermint either, but I wouldn't want peppermint on my skin. Ha, <laughs> peppermint might burn. That might aggravate something. So, that smells, oh my goodness. And I have never purchased, I have bath salts that, you know, have been purchased. I have bath bombs, bath salts, all kinds of things. And Oh man, this just smells so much better. And it's so wonderful, just like right from the get-go. I have this big jar Let's see. Have a big jar. Let's get that little scoop out of there. And I just put it over in the jar. A little scoop and I can, you know, you could just pour it. But, um, and I have bath salts for, you know, this will last forever. And I, I mean, I may put, I may put a whole cup in my bath. I may put a quarter of a cup. I mean, I just, it's all the same as the measuring. And there's nothing, honestly, you know, you see people cook and do all these crazy things and you're like, Man, oh, that looks easy. And you try it and you're like, oh my goodness. Nothing to it. Sometimes you buy the Epsom salt and it, uh, oh goodness, I'm going to end up with this all in my face. It's clumpy and you pour it, like I poured it out today. This is like the first time ever. It was all just completely smooth with no big lumps. It's fine. Grab them and just break them up. They'll, they'll break right up. You just grab them and break them up. It's, it's, it's nothing. You just dump it together. So you can use a 50 cent box baking soda. You can get you a bag of Epsom salt, whatever can you want, essential oils. Um, the bottom of this video, well, I mean, the Epsom salt, I, I just, I don't know. I, I, I can put a link for, for Walmart, um, but like I said, Target sells Epsom salt. Probably Walgreens, uh, CVS, oh, I don't know. I mean, our, our grocery store sells Epsom salt. So, I mean, I mean HEB, Kroger, probably, uh, you know, I don't know. 
Um, everywhere probably sells Epsom salt and baking soda. Everywhere sells baking soda. You can go get a box of it at Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, Walmart, Target, Kroger, Albertsons, Safeway, where, wherever you have. Piggly Wiggly. Um, the Himalayan pink salt you can buy in the grocery store because this is edible. I mean, this isn't, this is edible. That's just pink. That's Himalayan pink salt. Uh, I got that giant jar of it at Burlington. It's uh, 10 pounds for $19.99. So I'm going to be using this forever, and it's good through like 2023, but they have smaller containers of it at Burlington that would be much cheaper. So that's, I mean, that's a lot of price at once, but I, I'm going to be using that forever. Um, so that's not as big a deal. Oh, I'm going to make a mess. Oh my goodness. I think that was a cat. Um, good Lord. So, this can be super cheap. Um, actually, our Jovis... Oh, Lord, that is a cat. Um, actually, our Jovis sells a lot of essential oils. So does HEB. Walmart has started selling some. Um, you can get them wherever you want. I know there's people who do their... Oh my gosh. I have no idea what's happening outside. Uh, but obviously, there's a very very angry cat or lonely or <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the cat um oh my goodness so um they've got what is the uh, the, the, the sales where people sell the uh, essential oils uh, I don't buy those they're just really expensive um and kind of like most things, if you advertise, you have to pay for advertising, and somebody's paying for that. So, uh, which, uh, you know, all these ladies who are selling essential oils, and I won't, I won't throw, I won't throw any names out there, but, um, you know, more power to them, but I started trying to, this came about in an attempt to cut a little of the synthetic out of my life, which is why this is also in a glass jar, <laughs> which is completely negated by the fact that I'm using a plastic scoop, but baby steps. Um, yeah, I start, you know, you start looking things up. Well, that's how I say, uh, I was, you know, $20, $30 for a bottle this big of pretty much anything. I'm angry when the eye doctor gives you a bottle that size and charges you that much for it. Um, I went searching. I went researching. There's a lot of brands that are good. They're pure. They're real. Uh, these are actually organic. Um, and they're way cheaper. You know, so I will put the links to Frankincense, lavender and vanilla at the bottom of the video um you'll be able to get it i, I get mine on amazon I, I don't know uh and the company i use is called sun organics uh they will sell you oils in larger plastic bottles uh, for way cheaper because they're in plastic bottles. I'm going to highly recommend not doing that. I tried it just to die. Anything harsh, strong, you wouldn't want to do that. Plastic, it's going to leach, it's going to be a problem. So I tried it on something easier that wasn't super acidic, that was, you know, a calmer. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, so I, I wouldn't recommend buying anything in 8 ounces or bigger because they're going to come in plastic. You know, you can buy big jugs, but I, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, 4 ounces is as big as I would buy. They sell them in 2 and 4. Uh, the prices are nowhere near what other things are. I have contacted the company. I've spoke to them. Things are organic. Things are they they source the world trying to find good and accurate products. Uh, people get really angry about their 
sales kind of essential oils and that no other oil is going to be as good. Mm. Okay. I, I'm going to spend my money how I choose to spend my money and this was a cheaper option for me. So they were good, some are not. This was alright for me. Um, there is a brand Walmart sells. Tea tree oil. Don't remember what it's called. Doctor something. It seems to do alright. I spray the house with tea tree oil regularly to keep pests and things away. Um, I'll try to find I'll try to find that and put put that put a link at the bottom. If uh, you want to know how to make another product, I can make another video on that. If there's something else you'd like to see, I can make a video on that. So if you would like to give me an idea, if you'd like to see a video of any kind, not not even just this kind, any kind at some point, you you can let me know in the comments below. If you're mean, I may cry, and then I'll block you, maybe, I don't know. Um, but that is how you make a giant jar of lavender, frankincense, and vanilla bath salts with pink Himalayan salt. Um, that'll last a plenty long time. Uh, they smell amazing, and if anybody gets into them, they're not going to die. Uh, you know, there's nothing. It was um, Epsom salt people take, I guess, for constipation with water. I, I don't know. I've never done that. I'm going to say I've never done that. But that obviously it's not going to be fatal if eaten. Um, baking soda, we eat cookies and stuff, and salt in large quantities probably isn't very good for you, but it's fine. So, you know, and, and lavender, frankincense, and vanilla is not going to kill you. So, this is awesome. You know, it's it's all over my hands. I don't have to worry about what I have on me here. But this is this is what eight, nine, ten pounds, <laughs> ten pounds of bath salts. Four, five, six, maybe seven dollars, eight dollars. Under ten dollars, ten pounds, bath salts. Can't beat that with a stick, I don't think. But just in case, because you, if you use different oils, you use different scents, you use different oils. If you have oils that are maybe not organic, or for sure, you know, you're not sure what you can get a hold of, which you know, money sometimes controls that. Make sure to label your whatever you're gonna I mean you know I use my hands you can wipe those off but if you you know you're using a spoon go ahead and label it make sure that's the only thing you're using it for uh, you can use I was using cookie pans and I had two that I would set out so I wasn't making quite as much I was making as much as would fit in a cookie pan and I could mix up but this big old lasagna pan just got to where you couldn't this non-stick was coming off and it was acting goofy and I don't know I'll just use it to make bath salts it's big it'll hold you know the whole shebang in one go and I apologize for the camera being completely crooked it's loose um if you want to oh, I've got to stop saying it. Oh. if you want to use that if you want to use a bowl it's just gonna have to be crooked I'm sorry if you want to use a bowl that's you know anything you want to use it's fine um, and basically this video was all about me checking the lighting because I have new lighting for video purposes. I'm not really sure if it's right good or what we got going on here, but it, it may be okay. I think maybe the lighting is alright. Yeah. But it takes very little and this, you know, you don't really have to have. You don't have to sift. I just don't like little lumps. So, if that's something you want to do, now you know how to make your own bath salt. And you don't have to go through 1,800 recipes on Pinterest. Simple as that. 
And actually, if you want to just buy bath salt, you want to buy Epsom salt and stick a cup of it in the water with you. That'll work too. That's going to help ease sore muscles, tired, strained muscles. That's going to, you know, that that's you can just put Epsom salt in the tub and, and not do any of this. This is just what I've refined to enjoy. And like I said, usually I just do lavender and frankincense and just something as I was setting up for this, actually. Said, grab the vanilla. Okay, so I did. And uh, so this is, you know, frankincense, lavender, vanilla. And it smells. I wish there was a way to smell cam, but there's not, so I'm sorry. <laughs> You're just going to have to trust me. Um, again, my name is Tammy. You now know how to make 10 pounds bath salts for $10 or less. Like my channel, like my video, subscribe, comment, let me know what you might want to know about. Um, there is plenty that I can show you, tell you. My next video will probably be making my own laundry soap. Just because these are things that I needed. I used the last of my bath all a few days ago. I'm getting where I'm uncomfortable with my laundry soap amount. I have probably a jar like this about half full. But that, you know, I start getting a little nervous. So I start, and I have everything here to make it. I started making my own laundry soap probably four, four years ago. Maybe five, but four or five years ago. I haven't bought laundry soap since. And my mother uses, <laughs> she's, I moved, so I must stayed away. And she starts panicking, and she finally was like, tell me how to do it. What do I need to do? And I gave her instructions over text, over email or something, and she made her own laundry soap. She was hooked up. I did a lot of research again on Pinterest. You know, there's 100,000 laundry soap recipes. And some of them are like, oh, you do this 12 hours this. And I was like, whoa. I would love to save money always about the saving money. I love, that's why I love Burlington. Uh, I love to cut out some of the synthetic products in my house. You know, I clean, I, I still buy some things, but I clean with a lot of vinegar. I use peroxide in my toilet, just some things, but I, I still buy, you know, shout to spray on my clothes but if there's something but I try to do but I was I'm not gonna spend 24 hours 12 hours I'm not doing that my time's worth too much for that so I practiced a whole bunch of things and I found a recipe that didn't sound terrible crazy and you know it's gonna take me three weeks and you know my firstborn's DNA and all that you know I was like good grief so I finally figured it out, narrowed it down, and I got it where it was pretty easy. So I can show you a way that's this super simple, where it's basically just pouring stuff in a bucket. You know, I'm not going to spend all day cooking things, melting things, waiting. I mean, that's just that's just way too much drama for laundry soap. Um, I have tried other recipes. I can make body wash. There's a, there's a lot of really good. I can make my own liquid Castile soap. If you really need to do things on the cheap, I, I can help you. This liquid Castile soap is wonderful, but I don't know, a liter might be $14, $15 at Target. Uh, I think it's probably comparably priced on Amazon as well, but you can buy it at the Vitamin Shop for about that price. Uh, that's a little expensive when you have almost no money. So, I figured out how to make some on my own. And it's uh, not perfect, but it's it's about a gallon for maybe three, 
four dollars versus a liter for 15 so if you need a little help with some you want to go green and money is an object then I can see what I can do to help you let me know thank you hope you enjoyed my very first YouTube video